You are very welcome to Confident Women Island with me, Roshini Cleric. We are all loved and never alone, and we have powerful guardian angels and spirit guides working on our behalf every minute of the day. The good things we do in life matter and have a ripple effect out from us to others. It is the message from my guest, Pauline Junction, who hails from Oma in County Tyrone in the north of Ireland. Pauline is a psychic medium and a published author of her book, A Heavenly Gift. Good morning, Rushing. Thank you so much for having me. It's lovely to be on. And it's my absolute pleasure, Pauline, because I was always supposed to have you on the radio, but it just didn't work out. But you know what? As you say, uh, God and our guardian angels and spirit guides all work in mysterious ways. They certainly do. They <laughs> do. Well, my, my job, as you just said there, I'm a psychic medium. I have been doing this for 18 years. Um, I've had this gift from I was a little girl, really, just the experiences that I've had as I got older. It wasn't really until I was nearly 40 years old that this really started to open up for me. And I was starting to see full body, you know, uh, visions and apparitions of, of the deceased. And I was getting messages. I was feeling all of these emotions when I was around other people. It, it was it was very strange, but it was fascinating as well. And that's what really brought me into this, you know, part of my life that I, after so long doing accounts, uh, doing all these other kinds of jobs, <laughs> that I ended up now being a psychic medium at in my 40s and doing, I do one-to-one -one readings and they last usually about an hour, but it's the, it's the visions I've had of the angels it's the messages, it's the deceased family coming through, that the, their messages are so important. They can be, you know, it can be to heal and help someone or it can be to uplift someone, but it's really beautiful every time it happens. And this is why I do this, you know? <laughs> it's a gift, Pauline, it's a gift. It, yes. it, it's exactly what you say in your book, which is behind you as well, is it's a heavenly gift in what you do. Yes, yes, it's, you know, um, it's like, there are so many issues in life now and people mm -hmm. can find things very difficult. They don't know where to turn sometimes to get help or they, they find it difficult talking to others about mm -hmm. certain things, but coming into me, it's everything's open. It's just open. You know, it's come in, relax, just let your worries fall away and see it's, it's not many places that you can come in where your, your angels arrive in your deceased family members, yeah. all of them to help you. You can't, go to many places for that really so it's a very special gift for everyone and it's available to everyone the angels do not have religion as saint no. aquinas said there is no religion <laughs> <laughs> they're here for everyone yes. and they're here for all kinds of things should it be for happy happy occasions or sad occasions or you know devastating times when we we lose our loved ones in terrible ways um, it can be through suicides. It can be through, you know, someone dies very quickly. They don't get to talk to them. They don't get to see what has happened or what's going on. The messages that come through are so powerfully healing. That is what I do with my readings. And, and I love, I love doing what I do. You know, it's, you've got powerful guardian angels. You've got powerful spirit guides. You've got your whole lineage of your family, your deceased family. that are all there praying for you. And everyone prays in their own way. Should it yeah. even be a word? You don't have to be Bible thumping, no. you know, you just, you can say angels help me and they're there for you. And they're there to bring, you know, that peace and that balance in, into your life. You know, we, we all need to take a look sometimes and balance ourselves emotionally, spiritually, yeah. mentally, physically. And we don't have to be tough on ourselves. The one thing we should be is very gentle. And we, we all forget that. We're also, you know, we, ha we, should, we have to look like this. We should be this way. Why aren't we here doing this? Why haven't we attained this in life? And yeah. All of those things at the end of, of all of it, if you sat quietly, you're perfect the way you are. Yes. When we were made, we have this beautiful soul spark and we shouldn't let it be dimmed in, the, in this life because life can be hard. And we should always try to build on that. And we've all this help to keep us in that beautiful light no matter how, how hard things are. But, you know, it's easy to, for me to say when people come in and they've lost someone they love, it's easy for me. So your angels are here in heaven and all. You have to understand that you have to have the compassion and the thought as to where they are in their life with people they lose. Because, you know, 
I could plow on over people and go, well, your angels are here and the heaven is here. And, you know, isn't this just great? But it's not like that for them. No. And when you lose anyone you love, it's you just you're in a, you're in a really sad place. You're in a, a, dis, a place of despair. You fight with yourself as to how you're going to deal with it. And, and I have to be very aware when someone someone comes in that's dealing with that, that it's more love that they need than a load of messages given to them that's not giving doing any good or giving them anything that's worthwhile yeah. so it's a, you know it's a gentle quiet um calming atmosphere in my reading room here for people when they come in and you know i love that and you know? it's a it's absolutely a gift what you're doing because you're help what you do in your work as a yeah. psychic medium and working with the angels is you're actually helping people heal not yes. to heal in in you know accepting that someone they love has passed over to mm -hmm. the spirit world and heaven, mm -hmm. but also you're helping people deal with that and giving messages that nobody else would know, no. but only their loved ones in spirit. No one else would know that you. There's no way you would know. Um, would you know? Sometimes it's hilarious. Some sometimes <laughs> it's obviously sometimes it's very serious, but sometimes it's very funny as well. The messages that come through, I can, you know, I I read for from everyone from farmers to doctors, nurses, everybody, housewives, everyone, everyone's welcome because everyone really is the same. Their yes. job is not them. Yes, and it's like you know, um, when someone <laughs> comes in, you know, and I say, well. Your, you know, their their father may have passed, and I'm saying you were working on a on a, a tractor this week, and they look at me like it's a red tractor, and they go okay, and also you know that axle that you fixed, your dad says you know you're not doing it quite right, <laughs> and, they, and they'll be shocked. They'll go, you could not possibly know that, Pauline. It was, it's the it's the faces, you know, the, the laughter sometimes yeah. is really wonderful, or or someone's in their home, and I will say you know you um you have a teacup in the drawer that you keep a candle in. And this was your mum's tea set. And you keep, you take this out and you light it when you think of your mum. And they're just like, oh my goodness, you could not know that. But are, this is the messages that come through because the angels, as they say, they take them, they can fly, they take themselves lightly. And we take ourselves way too serious. Yeah. You know, and we have to learn. <laughs> it's, you know, the things in life are always going to happen, the good things and the bad things. And it's getting the balance in it. But we're always given the strength and our angels. Our guardian angel especially will wrap us up when something terrible happens to us. We may not realize we're wrapped up, but we are. Yeah. We're very protected. We're very like as you, that. As you describe in cotton wool. Yes. <laughs> in your book, you describe that in your book, wrapped up in cotton wool. <laughs> yes, that's when I was going through a car accident that my angel came in and said, you're going to be wrapped up as if you're in cotton wool, Pauline, and you will get out this door. And that is exactly what happened. And I had no aches or pains. But the, I rolled the car, <laughs> but I was I was perfectly fine. I had I had no scratches even. Honestly. Wow. <laughs> but wow. you know, uh, rushing doing what I do, uh, you know, for eighteen years, I've met so many wonderful people. You know, how their lives are and what they come through really gives me a great strength to cope with the things you know in my own life yeah. as well. It's a whole healing learning curve for me as well. And everyone's special. Everyone that comes in here, I believe, are, are brought by the angels. I don't believe they just wander in. I think they're all brought for a good reason. And really, it's up to me to get out of the way and let the healing energy in for them and just sit back. I'm like, I'm like being plugged in from two sides. I have the angels and the deceased and the, and the spirit guides. And then I have the people that sit here in my room that, you know, connect. They connect through me. So the, the energy can be really beautiful. The, the warmth can be wonderful. The tingling uh, mm -hmm. when, when your deceased family come through. It's a wee bit different from the angels, but it's always beautiful. And people come back, you know, they come back and th thankfully, I say thank God, but thankfully they come back to me mostly once or twice a year then in a regular way. And I love to see how they're doing. And that the change can be amazing. It can be just amazing. I've had wonderful experiences that way, you know, and um, but it's like anything, you know, <clears throat> what the things that we do in our life, whether it's good or bad. And as you've just said, it does affect others, obviously, around us. And, you know, um, there are certain laws, but, you know, people say oh, we have to keep all these laws in the world that because I'm Catholic, the laws of God or the Ten Commandments would be for me. But 
you know, but there's a lot in that. <laughs> there's a lot <laughs> that you looked at it. It's very uh, vast. It's vast. vast. Yes, it covers a lot. But yeah. we're all human beings. We'll all make mistakes. Everybody <sighs> makes mistakes. But the one thing we, we have to know is that there's this place to come back to always. We're always forgiven, no yeah. matter what it is. We just have to come back and ask them, invite your guardian angel in, invite that love back into your life and that guidance. You know, that guidance that you get when you embrace your guardian angel and that path is incredible. It really is incredible. And, you know, it's when we ask in prayer, you know, for more beauty in our thoughts, you know, in our, in our actions and our feelings towards others and, you know, to help with the lessons on earth and bring love into everything. It, it does bring us on a wonderful path. And, but we will have the lessons of, you know, things will, will trip us up every so often. People can be aggressive to us. People can be rude. People can be demeaning. You, you, can, you can see, actually, when you bring spirit into your life, how people change around you. They always say, look who leaves when you bring spirit into your life. Yes. And they weren't meant to be there. Yeah. And when a door closes like that, we shouldn't try thumping and banging on it to open it. We should turn around and look for the new doors that are opening because that is your path and that's the most beautiful path for us. And it, it helps us to grow and become the people that we should be. And it's just, you know, I've had all kinds of, of experiences like that to show me just to keep stepping forward. And even though I've had my own pressures, you know, doing this work, when I picked it up, people were going, Pauline, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And yes. I was like, well, I can't ignore the deceased people that are coming to me and going, I want prayers, or yeah. I want you to give this message. And I was going, at the start, I was like, go away. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. And eventually I did. And, and the lesson in that for me was, Pauline, it's not about you. It's what we need you to do for others. We want to connect to them. It's not about you. Just step out and give them the message and get out of the way. And that's literally what I, it took me a while to, to get, you know, to do that. But, you know, we all in our life as well need to take time to be quiet, take yes. time for ourselves, to go to a special place, should be the beach, get out in nature is the most healing light in the world. We all need to take that break away from what we do and from people that may be difficult and get clear perspective to keep us balanced. Because when we're in that balanced state and that wonderful frame of mind and relaxed, that's when our angels are most powerfully connected to us. And we, we get new insights, where we get new ideas, we get things that will help us in our life. If we keep busy in this noisy world, we never, we never will get time to connect mm -hmm. to our true self. You know, and it's it's something that's very important. And, and also people need to realize as well, like you talked about there, Russian, about, you know, the help that we have. We literally yeah. have an army. Helping. Yes. I mean, it's an army. You know, we are more powerful than we realize. Yes. And we walk this life. And, and as I say, I talked about our deceased family that comes in and the lineage of, of our family. There's very powerful people in that. They've, yeah. they've been on earth. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're, you know, they're up there wanting to, they pray for us, wanting to help us, wanting us to connect. And it's, it's such, the, the messages can be so um, fragile and just glimmers sometimes that we miss them. Yeah, as, as we talk about, and lots of people talk about finding white feathers and pennies and butterflies, and but these all, all these things are important and they're very real, very real. If you find they're yourself, calling cards, <laughs> exactly, Russian, exactly. And if you find yourself attracted to angel books suddenly out of the blue, or you're thinking of angels more, or you're seeing more things coming up, you're seeing them written up, or, or songs, angels about the angels, yes, or spirit in general. If you're going, I you know, I would like to see what what that's about. You know, it's monitoring thoughts taking time seeing what you how you feel truly about things if we're making big decisions in life take time and stop and think really feel and think how you're feeling about moving into that new place or that um marriage or that relationship or that whatever it is really be true to yourself and how you feel if there are red flags you gotta look at them don't just you know skip over them and and not really look at how you're feeling because that's all in angelic guidance. They're all going, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and it's keeping us in a good place. Yes. In a happy place. Um, and our spirit guides are important too. Now, I also get people to say to me, my grand, my grandmother's my guardian angel. 
And your grandmother is very powerfully there, loving you mm -hmm. to death, yes, yeah. and guiding you. But your granny is not your guardian, guardian angel. angel. Your guardian angel is a, is a being of light, a beautiful being of light, a very powerful being. They know all about you from the moment you were conceived to the moment you're on this planet. You've got your guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> like remembering that your granny is there, but your grandmother is different than your guardian <laughs> angel. Your spirit guides are people that have been on earth, but they have evolved in heaven they've been they've literally been put through a whole learning process to be allowed to come back to guide us in spirit and they are very equally as powerful but they're a different energy you know and then we have you know we talk about all kinds of things you know from when i do my cards i use four decks of cards the, the first deck of cards are all animals they're, they're native american cards and that's all about instinct. wow they're lovely Yes, Native Americans, it's all about your instincts, your intuition, and connecting to animals completely trust their instincts. They and do. We forget, we forget. We push buttons and think, oh, that'll work. Dink, dink, dink. <laughs> or what do you think? Or what do you think? We forget. We've all those answers inside. That's what keeps us powerful. As women in this world, we have, we have this powerful intuition, especially, yes. you know, women, when they connect and, and really think and get connected to themselves, they are very powerful beings, to say the least, you know. And in Native American, um, the way they, in Native American terms, the way they lived, the women were all seen as the spiritual, powerful uh, guidance in those tribes. But that's the first deck I use. The second deck I use is a fairy deck, which is the elemental side of the reading. And that's connecting to nature, water, fire, the earth, all of those things <clears throat> that very powerfully heal us. And then I use, I have my own deck actually, Roisin, I haven't, it's not, uh, this is it here. You designed your own deck. Yes, but it's, I haven't got it. I haven't, it's um, ready yet for um, distribution or for sale or anything like that. But I have to do the book for it. <clears throat> and wow. I've been added to the book that I've written now that I have a gift. And uh, <clears throat> that will be maybe later down in the year, but it's just symbols. And when we dream, we dream in symbols. Yes. <laughs> These symbols, you know, it can be a house, trees, flowers, whatever it is. But when I read for them, it comes out like a page, you know, like a page story, you know, a page. But it's it's a wonderful, they're wonderful. To, they're just simple cards, but they're wonderful meanings. And the last uh, deck I use is the angel healing cards, of course, which are very powerful. And that's your guardian angel's personal message to finish the reading. But, you know, it's it's been a learning curve for me to say the yes. least. I usually just throw myself into things now and I go, I'm going to get on with it. And I have met some amazing people. And I have to say, you know, when I was younger, I would have been I would have been someone with very low self-esteem. I wouldn't have I didn't like going out much. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends. But do you see from I started doing my work with with readings? I look at women and the things they go through. And I just think. Yeah my God, you are a superwoman. You know, they're looking after their kids, they're working, they're looking after their, their family, their, their elderly relatives, they're, they're doing two jobs. They're unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. And, you know, it wasn't until I started to do this and start reading for these ladies that I just think, my God, you're astonishing. <laughs> <laughs> and, I really, and we connect so well. I just, I, I get a great, I get a great connection you know, with all of them. And I just love their company, you know. But it's it, when, when I see them and, the, and they come in and they're feeling and they're in a difficult place and then they come back six months later and there's this light. And they're going, God, Pauline, I feel great. You know, yeah. I'm talking to my angels, the, the, the power that came through that reading, it was so good. But I always say, it's not me, it's your angels coming in going, don't you forget that I'm here for you. Yes. I'm here to, to pick you out of this difficulty and put you back up there where you should be and you're going to be fine. You know, and that's their job to do that. That's their sole purpose yes, is to do yes. that. Yes, it is. And it's just, it's been a beautiful experience for me. Now, I have to say, I've, I've, there are so, I have met some really difficult people as well. But the way that I just deal with that is that I have to say that, you know, if they, if they don't like the messages that they get, I, all I have to say, and I say it in a very nice way, is that, you know, I don't have messages for you really today. Yeah. Just look at these wee things and see how you feel about them. And if you want to come back, come back. You know, I would never say to somebody, don't come back to me <laughs> ever, you know, because that's not what I would like. And two, I think, you know, we can't, 
I was always, I don't know if this resonates with you, but we earth people. <laughs> we, <laughs> we earth people. <laughs> yes, this is exactly where that are. came from, but it came anyway. We yeah. earth people. <laughs> we if we have very low negative energies and, yes. and thought frequency, yes. thought frequencies, the angels and our guardian angels cannot connect. They cannot come down too low. So we no. have to lift our vibrations. Yes. So we can have, um, we can reach, their frequency can reach, we have to reach our frequency high enough, but not too high. That we, yes. that we don't stay grounded, that we yes. can reach their frequency because they can't come down too low. No, no. But at the same time, this is why people coming in here for a reading, even if their energy is very low, this is what they're here for. So their yes. energy is picked up. Yes. And it's, it's to, to, to show people, no matter what has happened to you, no matter what you're involved in, if it's terrible, no matter what religion, there's they don't care about that. No matter what is going on, they are there to help everyone. And that's to heighten everybody's energy, bring them up from where they are and they see that light of hope. I have had, I have had people in here uh, that have been alcoholics and they have stopped drinking and they're pioneers. I have had people that done drugs and they don't do drugs anymore. I have had all kinds of you know extremes. Yeah. Even people that feel you know, that they're trying to cope in life and they're not coping very well. And they leave here, when they come in, they, they have a look of heaviness. And I will say to them when the reading's nearly over, do you feel any lighter? And they'll go, I do, but I can't explain why. Right. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, literally, it's, it's the, the difference in their face. It's quite, it's quite beautiful. You can see it and you can feel it and yes. you can sense it. Yes. And they leave with a hope. You know, they leave with that light and that hope. And usually when they come back, I, I, this the change is just amazing. You know, and that's this is what keeps me doing, doing what I am doing, you know. And it's, that's just why I wrote the book. And um, the book, you know, when I thought of writing the book, I thought, oh, my God. I didn't, never even had a diary as a child. And I thought, I have all of these notes. I could just write notes. That's how I, how I, how I had written this book. I just wrote notes down. And I had this bundle of notes like this. And I thought, right, I'm going to get into these notes and see what do I do with all of this mess now? And I just, I started to do one chapter at a time. And the book, it just came together. And with my, with the help of Monty, obviously Monty is my fiance. He, you know, he's a, he's a graphic designer. He designed the cover and he put the book together, which is beautiful. Amazing. It's um, really beautiful. It really yeah, and Russian, is. You've read it. It's a, I read it's it a, twice. <laughs> twice which is even better and it's all about you know it's the story of me as a child as you've read it yeah and how I ended up doing this my own story through it and then the stories of others that I have read for how their yeah. life has changed from the readings and then there's other wee bits you know as, as people will say sometimes you know if I wanted to do Pauline if I thought I was going to be a medium or I have that connection what do I need to do and really it's you know the whole thing about that is like clearing your life you know you've got to look at everything you know if I if I was out every weekend partying and, and doing all that I couldn't do this work no <laughs> <laughs> you know and I, and I have to be balanced I have to see you know being out my my normal days are you know doing readings I'll go for a walk with a dog I make dinner I do normal stuff of course wash clothes make dinner <laughs> get the groceries just <laughs> And then I step in here when I read for people and it's a totally different energy. Yeah. But when I leave out there, everything's with that person that's left. And then I go and do my, let's just like everybody else, the normal things. But if anyone was interested in that or had, they thought was this gift, the way is actually like we've just talked about, sitting quietly, you know, um, being trying to get more balanced in your life, looking into more things to do with the angels. Because your angels are always there wanting to connect. Yes. Thousands of them. <laughs> And like, if we don't connect with them, they'll be bored. <laughs> exactly. And, and we can ask through, it's through your guardian angel yeah. that your deceased family come through. Your guardian angel is very powerful. Your guardian angel will also bring you angels for, if you ask for peace, uh, positivity, strength, for comfort, for prayer and abundance, uh, all of these things. You also, you can get guides to help you as well, but you must ask. 
and you must invite your guardian your guardian angel in every day and yes. it's something I keep saying look you're here the rest of my life do I have to ask you every day <laughs> <laughs> and then I think I'm going to invite you in every day anyway because we're doing so many things we forget about them yeah and they want to be part of our lives every day just like a member of the family (laughs) a person with a family their house is full of angels even though they don't realize or they don't remember that they're there you know and sometimes I say to people buy an angel get a wee angel for the house and just say when you look at that you'll remember you have a guardian angel in the house you know because it does but rushing a lot of there's a lot of different elements to all of this but as I said I was speaking there before but if anyone was interested in doing this it's just connecting to that part of themselves you know um, it's like when you invite your guardian angel and you can just sit and quietly ask, you know, some people say, well, do they have a name? And yes, I've been given names. My guardian angel is called Serena and very beautiful. I've had visions of the angels. You've read that in the book. Yeah. And I've had one vision of Our Lady, which was truly beautiful. I, I couldn't to describe it. It was so detailed. I couldn't take it all in, you know, but it was just so beautiful. And um, the angels are all, they're all like that. They're just the light. When people come through that are deceased, you know, when they walk towards me, they're coming through at like a tunnel of light sometimes. Sometimes they're coming through walking along a sunny path or they're, you know, and they're walking along bringing a stick or there's or there some way that they were ill before, <laughs> before they passed. But when they come in, they put the stick down and say, I don't have any Ill- illnesses now. I don't have any of that tiredness. I am yeah. so fit. Yeah, so well. I, I this place is so beautiful, and I'm only allowed to get see glimmers of things, not a lot. Yes, yes. Just but the the gardens seem to be the most spectacular I have ever seen. You know, tell me about the gardens. <laughs> no rushing. It's like uh, this is what I said. If I had to describe or paint this, I don't think I could. It's like it's like walls and walls of. You know what a listeria tree looks like? Yes. Yes, it's I got like, two. Yes. Yes. It's just like that. It's all everywhere. And the colours are amazing. Vibrant. I get, I get glimpses. I don't get, I'm always like, I want to know more. They're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're only been showing this. And and the, the people that come in, they get to sit down and they have they have cups of tea given to them. And they're sitting, as they're sitting here, someone's mum comes in, they're, they're having a cup of tea while we're doing the reading. And, you know, it's just, and, and I can mention things like that sometimes, They'll say, I'll say they're having a scone, but it's not a scone like we would see it. It's a yeah. good old scone, like the old day, way that it would have been made in the past. Yeah. So is, they get this because that's what they like. But it's all it's all different for everyone. But it's the, oh. it's the love that comes through when your family members come through. Yeah. It's just beautiful and it's amazing. And, you know. Um, they 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 also say that in families have gardens in heaven. Mm, yeah, gardens. yeah. And I've seen them. Yeah, plant, yeah. They plant things in them and they take things out to help with the family here. I yeah. don't understand the whole thing, but I do be showing that. But and it, I've also believed that um, any of your animals have passed over. Um, yeah. My dog died. Our, our family dog died. Cece died. Um, two years ago, just before COVID on the 10th of January. Yeah. And I know she's with um, my loved ones. Yes. And she goes, is, and she so goes from their gardens, from to everybody's gardens, and says hello to them. <laughs> true, because I've had, uh, actually, I've had animals come through with family members. Yeah. I, I've even, I have been shocked myself going, okay, I think there's a, there's either a dog here, there's a cat here. Yeah. And they, I'll get a name and they'll go, oh, that's my dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> but, but again, you know, it's all the things we love are all there for us. Yeah. Our life, you know, the word death, it's and and people die. It's a terrible, sad time. But death is not the end. It is not. No. And we will keep going on that journey. We will see everyone again, even though we miss them so much here. The physical form, we want them to be here. We want to hug yeah. them, love them. Because I lost my brother last year, my sister, but it's oh, what I'm sorry. Yeah, but, you know, it's like I doing what I do has helped me, but it was still I know that that severe sadness you feel in your heart area mm. that you cannot put down and you can't run away from yourself. So you have to live with it. You have to sit with it. And it's difficult. It's very difficult. So it's also helped me, you know, because no one had passed in my family since my father passed when I was 13. But having that come back to me again, that feeling 
made me realize when people come in here and they've just lost someone a few weeks ago or last year or whatever, what exactly that feels like. And I can understand. I'm thinking, oh gosh, you know, I know what that feels like because I've been feeling like that this last while, you know. Yeah. But, um, with the angels, it's all how they make you feel when you bring them in yeah. into your life, you know. The love, yeah. the yeah. love and the feeling you have. It's a yeah. feeling. Yeah. And sometimes it's a smell. You can smell an aroma of roses or, yes. or something like that. It can be like all that. kinds of things. It yeah. can be all kinds of things. And, and things it can be a picture. Yes, yes. Or colour, colours, yes. or, or even little um, little orbs. Yes, orbs. I oh, know I have I have pictures of things. I, I, do you mind if I show you a picture? Oh, I'd love you to. One love second. you to. <laughs> One second, Russian. Sorry to be off. Oh no, this is what this is what was meant to be. For instance, I I used to be a photographer. I used to do weddings. Yeah. And this was a picture of a girl here. See the the dress. Yes. Oh, the her dress. angel. Yes. In the shadow. Yeah. Wow. And there was nothing. No angels anywhere. I was looking in the camera and I looked up and I went, where is this angel? I was looking. <gasps> there was none. There was just on her dress and I laughed. Oh my God, I got, I got the, the, the confirmation shivers. Oh. oh my and God. what they really were saying to me was, Pauline, you love photography, but you're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be doing this other work. Yes. <laughs> and I, I only done, I done, I think I only done six weddings and I was done. I loved them. I, I done re a really nice job for everyone. But when I started then to do this, this is what I'm meant to be doing. Yeah. And I love this, but you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of different detail to it. And as I say, as I'm going back to it, not something here, if anyone is interested or think they've got a connection, just keep connecting to their angel. And eventually you will start to hear, feel, see, and know in a much clearer way, just by being quiet and connecting to that part of you, you know, that's, it's part of the mind, but part of the heart as well. It's a bit hard to describe. Yeah. But it's really sitting quietly, being quiet in your life, thinking of your guardian angel, just sitting quietly and connecting to them and saying, I'm connecting to you here. Do you have any message for me? Can you give me a name? Just wee simple things and see what happens. Don't be overzealous because people doubt, everybody doubts. And really, if they put the doubt down and brought the belief out, amazing connections happen. Just like that because yeah. relationships if you make a new friend you're not going to become best friends straight away you're no. going to build that relationship and that trust exactly. and, that, and that communication channel up yes. yes even with a friend exactly and that's really that your guardian angel is your best friend yeah that you ever have walking this earth you know for your life and it's you know and also, you know, it's there's so much that they will show you and, and bring you to. And places also, it can be uncomfortable too, bringing you out of your comfort zone in yeah. your life when you connect. And they it can, you can be pulled in all kinds of ways, as you, uh, you know, as you would say, Russian, it's whenever the people that you, some of them that you care about start going away and not being around you, you think, I wasn't, they're not meant to be around me anymore. There's new no. people start to come in. And, you know, it can change, it can turn things 360. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you start doing the spirit work but um, and sometimes it can get you into trouble oh yeah because oh. they tell you you know they probably tell you to do something or to say something oh. and it could be really it could be like the cat I, I hate using this expression the cat amongst the pigeons and it could everything <laughs> could go hey why but that's but that has to happen so other work that the, the angels and other people's angels can can do their work yes. and sometimes they can get us into trouble in an earth uh, person's form, but yes. not yes. in the spiritual and heavenly realm of doing God's work, yes. our lady's work, or the angel's work. Yes. And, you know, it's also what, what, what they, why they do that as well is also to give us courage yes. and make us step up and say you cannot be uncomfortable in difficult situations because there will always be difficult situations. Always. You're not stepping in always to... Uh, um a day of you know as my, as some people say unicorns and fluffy bunnies you're you're <laughs> you're stepping into uh, you're stepping into the unknown i don't know the people that come yes. to me i'm stepping into something i'm opening a door it's pitch black and the angels are saying step in pauline it'll be okay and that's encouraging exactly you 
Yes, and, and, and it, it gives us courage. Yes, so, and like Anne said, Anne Devine, in the video before this, she yes. has this book, Encourage Yourself and Others, and she said, yes. in the word in, encourage is courage. Yes. yes. And exactly. that's what the angels do. Yes, and encouraging others by having courage as a woman yes. and stepping up and doing what you need to do, regardless of what you are being given. Yeah. You know, you just have to trust, believe, keep stepping forward and feel strong and in doing it and knowing that you're protected. Yeah. Knowing and trusting. Yes. And trust. And I think once you have build that relationship with your guardian angel, mm -hmm. you know then that there's that trust. I trust mm -hmm. my guardian angel. It's like little children trusting in the tooth fairy and Santa Claus. We've got mm -hmm. to have that same belief with our guardian angels as yeah. we did back then when we left the tooth, the tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. <laughs> It's, oh, a similar, it's a similar. The angels love us to connect to our childlike selves and do <laughs> They really love that because yeah. that's the innocent side of us. And we automatically, that connects us, you know. And I'm, I always say to people, you know, someone that has lost someone, you know, and they're, and they're in a very sad place. I, you know, I'll say once you connect to your guardian angel, when you come in here for a reading, I said, you're going to feel like you have a lightness now and that you, you know that they're okay. So you're going to fight a bit with yourself and the sadness and the feeling okay too quickly. But I says, it's your angel coming in, wrapping you up and giving you that assurance that they're with them and they're okay. You know, in that loving place. Um, but it's it, it's still, there's a lovely light side to it, Russian, as you say, yeah, there's the other, there is, and there's also the dark side. Mm. You know, and the way that I protect myself, you know, I am a great, well, I was brought up Catholic. I'm a great believer in prayer. Okay, yeah. we're in the rosary and i say that for everyone i read for and it's it's a protection prayer as well and our lady is so beautiful and you know she's she she also protects us in such a powerful way she does. You know? and um i'm i'm very i know that i'm very blessed to do what i do and sometimes i get like anyone else i get doubtful i get doubts i get worries and the only thing to do with that is to it's like in dealing with anything take yourself off somewhere quiet you know, connect to yourself again, feel that, you know, that balance in your life, get balanced. And then you'll feel in a much more powerful place to, to move forward again. And that's quieting the mind. Because yes. we have to clear all the clutter, all yes. the negative thoughts, and we need lovely, clean language. And, and we need to be careful yes. of the, the, the words we use and the language we use, yes. the tone of voice. Mm -hmm. And we need to Everything. just clear any clutter of our mind and as you say sit in nature or go somewhere and just yeah. be alone in that time and connect and you know I know as you know in life we all get difficult no matter what we do we yeah. all get difficult times with difficult people and we can really love people but they're going through their stuff so they want to offload it onto yeah. you and, and all of that and you have to protect yourself from that as well you know and again it's to do with your angels and prayer that protects you and you're able then to deal with difficult situations much better. Yeah, much you know? better. But in, in doing the book, you know, and things like that, it's just taught me a lot about myself more, I think, than anything else that I thought I'll never write a book, but I wrote a book, you know, and this is for everybody out there. Yeah. Anybody can do this. When I've written a book, anybody can write a book. <laughs> seriously. Seriously. Um, I, I enjoyed doing it. And all it was was sets of notes is what I do. Tell all it was just notes sets right. of notes yes and then I took those notes and I went through them and I put them then into the correct chapters and I wrote about that experience you know in those chapters each chapter and um to finish it off then was just you know people meditate in, in different ways I believe I don't believe you just sit and meditate in the corner yeah. I can't do that no um, my meditation is walking in, in nature yeah wherever it is, being out in nature some people meditate driving some people meditate reading a book it's all different. Yeah. You know? And I believe that that's very important in life too, just to, to do that wee meditation every so often. But it's also, you know, the other things that I write about there's, you know, our, our um, continuance on earth. We don't, yes. we die, we keep going, see, we've eternal life, you know, and it's remembering all these things as we're going through life that keeps us in a strong place and in a, in a place that we're, we realize we're more than just, these people that's here on earth you know? yeah but Russian, is there anything you would like to ask me about the book or 
anything you any wee things you saw that you thought were funny or what I really thought was funny was <laughs> when the when was a pack came to me, a part-time farmer came to you and he said to you, uh, do you yeah. know what my real job was? Yes. And he said, I don't know, but I will, at the end of the reading, I will know. I'll have something. Yeah. And you kept getting these visions of wheels. And he said, it's a mechanic. And uh, he says, I see all these wheels. <clears throat> and, and, and you said, to, <clears throat> excuse me, are you a mechanic? And he laughed and he says, I work for the, for the county council. I'm the wheelie, I changed the wheelies on the wheelie bin. Well, I just thought that. I roared with laughter at that. I just thought that was so funny. I you know, and never, I, just, <laughs> I visualized him. I actually could visualize what he looked like. And I, was, and I was there in the reading, I think, oh, my God, I would never have even thought about that. <laughs> I, would, I just thought, and the funny thing was, the wheels that I was seeing, I was seeing wheels going around him. But they were they were smaller. Singing, is are they just putting them small because he's in this room? Yeah. <laughs> you know where your mind thinks. I thought they don't look like car wheels. Right? This is all you know. While I'm reading yeah. from the person, and then at the end, I just he laughed at me laughing. I just laughed. I could not believe it. I thought I would never have gotten that. I thought yeah. it's something to do with wheels, but no one would have got that. <laughs> The wheel no. bin, you know, no one would have got that. No, 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 no. But it's different with things like that. That's the things that, that that makes it so enjoyable, you know, that you couldn't put could possibly, you couldn't possibly know, you know. No. <laughs> I guess, and when you talk about angels as well, um that I was talking to a lady the other, yesterday on Zoom and uh, she was telling us about, you know, uh, a family situation and um, her mother was having a, a, um, a heart attack or a mm-hmm. stroke and that she, her do- the, it was the timing that when we were talking about angels, we were, well, it was all completely warped, but then afterwards we were talking about angels and she, we were talking about, I was telling her you were coming on today mm-hmm. and um, we were talking about how she said she had a lot going on in her life behind the scenes and this mm-hmm. is how it came about mm-hmm. and she says um that her her, her mother took a stroke and if her, it wasn't for her daughter being delayed that morning saying oh i she was given you know she, her daughter came down and you no know, teenagers are like yes, they take yes. the time i want to smooth and i want this yes and um that never usually happens and then her mother phoned her and said that she wasn't well. Yes. And by the stroke of luck, she was just around the corner from her mother's house. Yes. She said, I would never normally be. But it was because her daughter kept her late. She went in and they called an ambulance and had to, you know, do all the resuscitation. And she mm-hmm. said to her daughter, go out and knock on doors. Mm-hmm. By the grace of God, and she didn't know, she knocked at the door of a nurse. Mm-hmm. And she didn't even say to what happened. She just said, come with me. And the woman came running out and her husband and she started t- taking over and doing the uh, CPR. And even the nurse said she usually works on Thursdays, but for some reason she wasn't working it's that all meant day. to happen that way to protect her mum. Yes. Goodness. Isn't that and amazing? I- isn't it amazing how when how it, how it falls into place? Yeah, and how her mom's guardian angels must have um, spoke to her daughter's guardian angels to speak to her to speak to the nurses' guardian angels. Yes, but this is how we all there. If we knew the amount of work that goes on behind the scenes in all of our lives with our angels and guides, and yeah. it would be huge. It would be massive. And, you know, and, and it's just things, this synchronicity, things falling into place, you know, things working out, getting meeting the right person, bumping into someone. You know, all these things are meant yeah. to be. They're meant to be. And do you know what else I love about your book? Because your book talks about self-acceptance, yeah. self-belief, confidence, yeah. and believing in yourself. You mentioned that many, many times in the yes. book. Yes. You know, tell us about that, how the angels, how that is a gift from the, the, the angels want us here on this earth plane to start linking into. Yes, because if we didn't have, if I didn't have that self-belief that I was connected to my angels and I was connected, you know, to getting the messages that were right. And, and it's just them continuously t- saying to me, trust, trust, yeah. trust. You have this. You, this, we talk about the, the, the light of our soul. Yeah. We all, if we realized how beautiful and powerful and special we are, we would never doubt ourselves. 
we would be such happy people. We would meet everyone with a, you know, a sense of, oh, hello, it's lovely to meet you, instead of like, oh, would this be a nice person or not? Us having self-esteem, it gives us the courage. It gives us the, the belief, as we talk about there. But it's the, the experiences I have had have strengthened my belief from I was a child that was so, I had no self-esteem to a, a woman now, and I'm 60 next year, to, to, you know, to be that age now and to feel you know, this, you know, the power that I have, the belief I have, the, the happiness I have, you know, for, it's, and it's not to do with anything outside of me, it's within me. Yes. It's such a good place, but it took a lot of work. But I some, sometimes think the young people need to realize quicker how powerful they are and how special they are. And having the, the self-esteem, not to be on their back so much, because you don't need to be doing that. It's having the self-belief in yourself. You're more capable. You are more powerful. You have you have your guardian angel walking at your side. You have your spirit guides. You have your deceased family all powerfully walking with you through this life. And that on its own should give us this great sense of, you know, empowerment. You know, and as, as a female or a male, it doesn't matter. But we all have that light available to us every day of the week that we need it and ask for it. You know, and that is a that is a true fact. All of these, the book, any stories in this book that I've written are all true stories. And it's about people, you know, some people having low self-esteem with relationships that they put up yeah. with people and they find that strength and that courage to go enough. I'm not putting up with this any longer or like work issues that they work in a place where they're being treated badly. Yeah. And someone's trying to, to keep their power and their light dull where really your light is bursting out all the time to get out. And it can't be contained. When you have that belief and your angel's walking by your side, you're going to go, I can do this. I can walk into anything and it'll all be perfectly fine. You'll find that courage because it's right there beside you. You'll be brave, you know, mm -hmm. and you'll not worry about opening doors that's, that there's darkness in there. You'll step in and you'll know it'll all be, it's all going to be good because the light that comes with you will brighten up anything. It'll brighten up anywhere or anything you step into. So it's all, it's very special. Life, living life at the minute is very special. Yeah. You know, and it's exciting. And we should be more excited and adventurous than yes. worried. <laughs> and I think that's something, you know, I've been saying to it, but it isn't this one of the most exciting times to be alive. Yes. In this world and in the history of our world, right this at the moment. And, and, also, and also rushing for other women that we, no matter who we meet in other females, we should always give them a smile before we give them a doubt as to whether yes. they would like us or not, because that's where the, the, the differences come in. And if we just smile at them and go, hello, because we we would find really quickly, we've all the same issues going on. Yeah, we, we have. And we all want answers to the same things. <laughs> you know, and we're all on the one road and the one mission and we're yeah. all juggling and multitasking and we're all just trying to be, you know, to be yeah. here and to yeah. be present. And yeah. that's something, you know, it's very... Because I always say women need to support women more. And I was so delighted when you said that, right, yeah. you know, smiling and give that type because oh, yeah, yeah. women need to support women more. And it's... We, the patriarchal, sexist, misogynic men are not our enemy, I always say, because it's with us women not supporting one another is where the real enemy is rather than the men. Yeah, yes, yes. And, you know, it's like I said, whenever I, I start, the more readings I did, the more I realized how special that the ladies of this earth are, and they're very special. Yeah. And, you know, the love that they have in some difficult situations can be incredible. That unconditional love. Yes. yes. And it pours out of them all the time. Yeah. And they may not ever get that back. And they just keep doing it. And it's, you know, and if anything has taught me, it has taught me that I look at other females in, in a really, in a way that I would look up to them because of what they are able to do and, and what they're able to manage in life. Because life is very tough, and you know they're they they bring everything together, yeah. and a lot of times they don't get acknowledged for that, you know. And this is what our angels are here for as well, you know. And all of us, it's to create more love for others and to others and to help others. And uh, I think it's a beautiful gift to us on this earth, and I think yeah. nobody should waste it. 
they no should one. talk to their angel as much as possible, include them as much as possible, because that's what they're here for. And there's thousands of them. Yes. <laughs> you know? And do you know what I always also say to you know, um, I know in, in the Catholic Church when we go in, they say, you know, um, sorry, my cash, that, you know, <laughs> yeah. bow your head and ask for God's forgiveness, you know, because you're a sinner. And I always have an issue with that. And I think, but God is a loving God. As long as we ask God, you know, God, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. God doesn't judge us. God is a loving God Merciful. and a forgiving God. Yes, yes. And it's like, you know, when we look at the divine mercy, you know, ev anything and everything is forgiven. Yeah. We just have to look to our Lord and look to the angels and ask. They, we, I don't pray to angels. I ask them to intersect for me and bring my prayers to God and Our Lady as well bring up yeah. my to God. and that in itself is so beautiful if we could actually see that I think we would be that astonished we'd never stop doing it yes. <laughs> we would be continually yes. doing it but this is for also for people that maybe their religion they think is is weak or they're there they don't have religion they go I don't believe in any of that but everyone has that beauty and that love to connect to in any way that they can because to me, it's all God. And some people say, you know, I'm spiritual and I'm not religious. I have to say I'm, I'm spiritual and religious. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's, that's good, too. Thing. You know, that's how that's that's that. And that's OK, too, because I'm from Derry. And like we grew up with like the religions. And stuff. But, you know, when it comes to religion, doesn't matter as long as you have, as you said, God has no religion. Yeah. God has no um doesn't dif differentiate between different religions but yes. sometimes religions are just moral code codes mm. yeah, they're, they're a compass they just they just spew out the same stuff over and over and over but it's what's within deeply within yourself that's the most important beautiful light that connects to as i say god but to who or whatever you think is special yes. that's soul light is there and to keep it in that place, invite your guardian angel and connect to them. Keep it strong because it'll protect you for your whole life. Yeah. And I suppose, too, you know, I think my faith came from Derry. Yeah. My faith and everything. And I still, to this day, every day, uh, link in, thank God for COVID, link in on the webcam to St. Eugene's Cathedral. Yes. <laughs> it's not just that it's my, it's... Um, yeah. It's about religion. It's also my roots. It's my community. Exactly. And, and that's why you're, you connected. And I, I would be the same because in Ireland, most of us were brought up. If you're a Catholic, you're brought up, you go to mass. You go to, yeah. and I just continually, I've continued to do that, but I love that. Yeah. But it's also for me, doing that helps me then do with what I do in, in this work. Yes. And I, I need that. I yeah. have to have that to feel I'm doing this correctly. Because I could not do it without that connection. That's uh, your navigation tool. That's your compass. Exactly. Your navigation. Your moral exactly. code. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it's very important. And I always say, if anybody would like to connect spiritually more to their angels, their guides, just put that prayer out, or even that word, angels, even just connect to me. You know, give me guidance. It doesn't have to be a big spew of prayer. It can be simple words. That's all. I'm ready. I'm ready to connect yes. to my guardian angel. Exactly. I am here. Yes. I am here. And yes. I want to build that relationship with you. And it's not that it's not that the angels can be all fluffy and oh wonderful. no. They can they can tell us off. <laughs> very stern, very to the yeah. very like do not step in with any yeah. lie. Step into your truth and don't be afraid to speak that. Yeah. Don't tell a lie to make your truth that maybe is bad less because it will not heal you stand no. in your truth acknowledge it and we will heal we'll help we we'll start to heal and that may be some people going oh my goodness but that's how they are sometimes it's like no 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 no. there's no fluffing about here this is what's going on this is the way it is you may not want to hear this today but this is the message for you we would like to help you with this and you know it can be powerful really powerful you know? and they cannot interfere with our free will either so no, 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 no. We have to invite them in. Uh, they do not step over our free will. That's, that's our gift. And in our free will, we stumble and fall and do all kinds of things. We wander off the road around 
forest parks and all that. And then get back to the path. And we come back a bit more disheveled than we were when we were on the path in the first place. But they're always there to go, come with me. We're here. We're waiting. You'll always be forgiven. And we'll we love. have so much abundance of love for you that is unconditional. Exactly. You know, that, and that is the thing too. You're so loved and you're never alone. Ever. Never, ever. Oh, I just love speaking with you today. And I'm so, I just thought Thank the time so was much. right. <laughs> Pauline, Pauline, how can anyone get in touch with you if they want to read and, or, right. and how can they buy your book? Yes, I. you can buy my book, Heavenly Gift, uh, on Amazon at the moment. It's on Amazon. You can also just contact me and I will send you a book as well. Um, it's a wee bit cheaper with me than on Amazon. Yes. My website is... Uh, www.pauline angel no angel wood house sorry because i'm gonna put the link right. below so you don't worry i'll yes. get you to send me the links and we'll put them below yes, as well angelwoodhouse.com and uh, you can contact me through that or i'm i'm also on facebook as well as pauline johnson angel wood you connect to me there by all means and of course you know it's all those details are on the book there as well and i'll send you russian as you say the link anyway but yeah Anybody can get on my website and send me a message or a link and I will get back to them as soon as I can. So <laughs> so if you would give somebody three messages today uh, to end off this uh, interview, what would the three messages be? Well, the, th the, the first message is to never, never think that you're alone in this world and that you are standing there trying to sort everything out yourself because you are not. You're never alone and you're very loved. Um, the second message is to bring in your powerful guardian angel and ask them to bring you angels to help you or spirit guides. And the, the third message would be that you're a very powerful, beautiful person. And never forget that you've got this beautiful spark, soul spark in, in within you and not to let that be dimmed by anyone or anything in this world. Let it powerfully shine out and just enjoy life. Bring the joy into your life through the angels and you'll see a huge difference in your life. And that will be my three messages today. Ah, oh, Pauline, thank you so much. I really You're do welcome. appreciate you taking the time to actually come. And, <laughs> that and was lovely. I really enjoyed it. I hope other people enjoy the chat. <laughs> maybe, maybe the next move for you now is to have your own YouTube channel. <laughs> Well, you know, Russian, you never know. You, you know. never know. <laughs> I've got the book now. I have the cards. I have to sort the cards out. And then maybe down the line, that you know, I wouldn't mind having, you know, like a wee YouTube channel to, for people to pull cards or come on and ask. Yes. And things yes. Like that. I think that would be interesting as well. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe we have to, we have to keep encouraging you for that now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Russian, thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's my really pleasure. Lovely. My absolute really pleasure. <laughs> and maybe you'll come on as, as part of our panel groups as well and our panel discussions going forward. Yes, that would be very interesting as yeah, well. Yeah, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Johnson Angelwood um, from over from County Tyrone, up there in my part of the country. Um, thank you so much indeed for coming on and joining us. Thank you so much.